Hey guys, how's it going? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So in today's video, you saw the title. You obviously know what we're talking about. I want to show you how to make $250 a day as a broke 17-year-old. Yes, I'm talking about 17-year-olds because I do a lot of videos here on my channel and they're mainly for people that are older, 18 years or older. The reason why is because you have to be 18 years, years old or older to sign up for a lot of things online to make money. For example, JVZoo is one site and ClickBank is another site. You have to be 18 years old to sign up for these. Okay, So you can still sign up, but as, at 17 years old, you will have to get your parent or guardian to sign up for you and then you will just pretty much run their account. Okay, So let's talk about how you can make $250 a day. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step examples of exactly how you can do it. So just follow along. You can change the niche, change the different products, and just do this exact same thing. Okay. First thing we're going to do, make some nice straight lines. First thing we're going to do, we need a site, okay? So I'm going to be talking about Wix, okay? First, you're going to make a site. So here is Wix.com. You can see it right here, W-I-X.com. You can make a free site. A free site is pretty much drag and drop, makes it nice and easy, nice and clean site, okay? You want to make something similar to something like this. It's just going to be a one-page site. That's all it is, okay? So for this example, I'm going to talk about acid reflux. So for this one, you want to make a website and pretty much don't copy, but almost clone the looks of the of sites like this. This is just one site I looked at. You can find others here on Google, but um, just pick one that you like. But you can go and kind of clone the look of the site, and then you can go and create the the content of it, but recreate it in your own words. Okay, so. And the, the reason why you're going to do this is because somewhere in the, in your, um, you know, you wouldn't put a link here, but somewhere in your website. And so if you have a, let's say you have an article that is, um, let's say a thousand to 2000 words, you'd want to have, but probably between, uh, six and eight links. Okay, so you don't have between six and eight links on this entire article, and those are going to be pointing to some type of offer. And so, I right here I'm showing you jvzoo.com and clickbank.com, but for this one, I decided I'm just going to use Clickbank, and we picked an offer. We picked one of these courses here, and here it is right here, Heartburn No More. Um, it's this one right here. So every sale, you get $36. Pretty good. <clears throat> Here it is right here. Somebody watches the video. They like it. They go and buy it. Great. You make some money. So let me explain a little bit more in depth. So you're going to take this Wix article and you're probably wondering, well, just because I write an article doesn't mean somebody's actually going to go and read it, going to go and buy whatever I'm recommending. And that's 100% true. So right here on this, this site, you're going to be re relying on SEO. That stands for search engine optimization. And that's not going to bring you much traffic. In the first probably month or so, you'll probably get between zero and 15 people that will go to your site because of SEO. That's just starting out. Don't worry about that. No big deal. What we're going to do, we're going to bypass all that. And we don't want to wait a month to get zero to 15 uh, you know, people. So we're going to go and post on Reddit. Okay. So we're going to post on Reddit. Here's Reddit right here. So what we're going to do is all we're going to do is uh, go type in uh, acid reflux. Find some different. So acid reflux heartburn. There's 412 people. Acid reflux and heartburn. 2,000 subscribers. Uh, baby bumps. No. Uh, let's do heartburn. Heartburn. So again, same ones. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to these subreddits. And then we're going to go and post our link to our article that we wrote here on Wix. Okay, we're gonna post it here on Reddit. When you post that, what it's gonna do is gonna send traffic back. Okay, so you wrote it here, you put a link here on Reddit, and you're sending traffic right back. We're gonna do the same thing with Facebook. Just put FB for Facebook, and again, we're gonna send the traffic back. Okay, 
You can do the same thing with a site called Stumble Upon. Okay, so Stumble. Something like that. And again, you're gonna send the traffic right back to your article. Everything's coming here. This is what you want. You want all the traffic coming here. Why? Because if you put links on it, let's say um, uh, reflux symptoms is a link. It's going to link it to this page. You do the same thing with, um, let's see, lose weight, controlled uh, you know, uh, acid reflux. Go link it to here. Okay? You get the point. You're just going to go and put, like I said, between 1,000, 2,000 words. You're going to put between six and eight links on your site. Okay, and make sure that you don't have to bold them. You just have to make sure the link is noticeable. Usually the blue color works very well. You can see, see they did it right here. Um, that just takes you to another article on their site. So you can post on Reddit. And another thing I would do when you post over on Facebook, so right here, I would come to a site called canva.com. You can see right here. I use this mainly for my... Um, for my homemade entrepreneur Instagram account. Uh, that's pretty much what I use all these for, and that's about it. Okay, so you just come up here, you can create a, your own, you know, do 500 by 500, or you can make it bigger, or whatever you wanna do, design it. <clears throat> there we go, okay? So you can go and make your own design, okay? Perfect. The reason why I do this is because when you post on Facebook, people don't want, you to post a link so you go and let's say you go and write your um let me show you actually hold on let me go and show you on this one right here it's just my homemade entrepreneur account so one things i wouldn't want to do is i'm gonna copy that um uh, did you see this new article on how to uh, prevent acid reflux? If not, check it out here. Okay. And then when you post your link, what happens is Facebook automatically goes and pulls up the picture, pulls up the link to that page. What I do, let's actually discard this one. Let's exit that one. What I like to do is uh, I will create a picture here on, on Canva and then I will go and I will do this exact same thing. Um, do you suffer from acid reflux? If so, you need to check out this article I just wrote on how to Prevent acid reflux on a daily basis. Check it out here. Okay. So I do that, but I would go and I'd add a picture. All right. So there, I just added a picture. Okay. This is just a little black splat mark, but anyway, you get the point. Then I would go and add the link. The reason why you do this is because you don't want this link to be the one that is shown up. You want the picture to show up and then the link just to be a link, that's it. The reason why is because Facebook will push that more and also it doesn't look spammy. So when you go into any of these any of these Facebook groups, um, let's go back, where are we at? Here we go. So when you go and join these groups, now I'm not gonna go and join them just for the sake of this uh, video, but when you go and join them, let's just go find a page, let's see if we can do it. Um, Let's go in this one. So when you go and join these pages, what, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna post inside of them, okay? You're gonna post inside these groups. Now, it's a whole lot easier to post inside a group than it is a page. People are probably not gonna see your stuff in a page. They will see it in a group. That's why I recommend you go and join a bunch of these groups. This one right here, <clears throat> perfect example. This, the owner of the site just put the link. So what they did is it pulled up the picture probably the header image and then it pulled up the title and then the the beginning body paragraph <clears throat> and so Facebook is not going to go and push this as much as they would if somebody did it like this did a image that is just an image and then a link okay so just keep that in mind 
the last thing you can do <clears throat> again go back to canva make something unique okay make a cool picture then create an instagram account okay again i, I want to show you how to make 250 dollars a day you're not gonna make 250 dollars a day just posting on reddit it's probably not gonna happen you could potentially do it with reddit with with seo with stumble upon and with facebook but why not do a little bit more and hopefully make more than 250 dollars a day and post on instagram okay there's so many things you can do uh, acid reflux okay look at this okay there's there's posts here acid reflux sucks acid reflux diet okay um let's see there's a bunch of hashtags acid reflux probs acid reflux sucks again acid reflux disease acid reflux attack there's so many ways you can make money all you need to do let's see where's my profile here's mine so all i do is i send all my traffic and so you go and create an instagram account you're probably on instagram anyway at 17 years old, at 17 years old if you're not on instagram you're behind okay so all you gotta do is make an account okay anybody can make an account go make an account create a uh, you know name for it it doesn't have to be acid reflux it could be just something you know health related you know whatever it is make a decent uh little bio for yourself and then for your link right here put a link to your website okay to your wix website right back here so you got instagram okay insta that was horrible okay and then you're gonna link it back here okay even from facebook you can link to your instagram account okay from reddit you can also link to your instagram account from instagram you can link to your your reddit page i usually don't but you could um you know you can even go and do videos okay over on youtube if you're not doing anything on youtube you should be okay on youtube promote your instagram account promote your wix page your wix page Promote your YouTube channel. Put videos on your Wix page. Okay, put some videos on there. If you start doing this stuff, again, you're not gonna make. You're not. Let's say day one. Okay, day one. How much money are you gonna make? You're gonna make a whole lot of nothing. Okay, I'm. I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. You know, yes, yes, you can make two hundred fifty dollars a day online as a broke seventeen year old, but is it gonna happen on day one? probably not well could it happen on day seven yeah it seriously could day seven you could probably have uh between one and two sales what were the sales uh 34 what was it uh, 36 dollars so yeah you could have let's say two sales so you got 72 bucks okay from seven days worth of work but all you're doing is posting inside reddit um on the subreddits doing stumbles posting inside different facebook groups doing some videos or even commenting on other uh, people's stuff over on youtube don't post your your wix page over here though i see so many people do that stuff on mine and honestly i just delete any any link that's out there okay so that's another thing you can do okay so use instagram use facebook facebook's gonna be your best friend it honestly is okay use canva it's a free tool go to canva.com sign up free tool you can make just a bunch of different uh you know graphics different images and it, it works really nice you know like i you probably saw on some of mine um well actually most of these are uh created this one this actually i didn't do that one. this one is that one is this one that one i didn't do that one uh this one was this one is uh this one was created on canva that one was so a lot of these were all created on canva okay so oh go follow me on the homemade entrepreneur at or over on instagram Okay, a little self promotion there. Anyway, that is all you have to do. Okay, now again, when I say all, you know, all there's, I say this all the time that it's easy and it is easy to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of work, but you have to be consistent. You have to stay committed because it will, before you start making $250 a day, especially when you're broke, you have no money, you can't use, you can't use advertising, you can't really use anything to propel you a little bit faster. You will probably make your first $250 a day on maybe day, it would probably be close to day 60 to 90, okay? 60 to 90 days. It's probably what's going to take you to make your first $250 in one day. And that's if you're consistent. 
that's 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 not even including YouTube. If you did YouTube, I'd probably cut that in half to between 30 and 45 uh, days to make your first $250 a day. But do a good article here. Create some videos like this one. Talk about the, what is this? What is the title? 14 Home Remedies for Heartburn and Acid Reflux. First off, what is acid reflux and what are the symptoms? What are some natural ways to reduce it? Don't overeat. That's a big one. Drink water. Lose weight. That's important. Follow a low-carb diet. Limit your alcohol intake. Don't drink too much coffee. Okay, chew gum. I didn't know that one. But anyway, avoid raw onion. I couldn't eat raw onion anyway. Limit your intake on carbonated beverages. That's a big one. This one is very big. Uh, this one kind of goes hand in hand with um, uh, your low carb diet, but also losing weight. So anyway, hopefully that helps you out. If you have questions, or you, even if you want to know how to make your first hundred dollars a day, use the exact same. Now this is a mess now, but you know, go back to the beginning of the video, watch it again, because all these lines aren't going to be here. Okay, it'll look a whole lot cleaner. But go back to the beginning of the video and watch it again and figure out, okay, what can I do? What products can I promote? What do I have an interest in? Maybe it's snowboarding. Maybe it's skateboarding. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, you know, choosing a, a vlogging camera. Pick something that you have an interest in. You're 17 years old. There's probably something. You don't have a whole lot of worries in life. Okay, you don't have, you probably don't have a mortgage. You probably don't have, you know, kids. Okay, so at this time, when I was 17 years old, I didn't have a whole lot I was worried about. I was worried about school. I was worried about, uh, I played soccer. That was pretty much it. I worked out and had fun with friends. Okay, made a little bit of money, you know, worked a part-time job, but that was really it. Okay, now I can, I can look back and I can say, hey, when I was 17 years old, you know, if I was, if I knew what I knew now, then I'd be making a whole lot of money then. Okay, so I just want to give back again. You know, I talk about a lot of stuff here on my channel, a lot of affiliate marketing, Amazon, you know, Shopify lately, a little bit with uh, cryptocurrencies. Um, so I just want you to understand that you know you can make two hundred fifty dollars a day. It's not it's not impossible. You can make more than the teachers that are teaching you at school. Okay, and all you have to do is follow a simple plan. I gave you that plan. You just got to put that plan in action, okay? So if you have any questions on how to make $250 a day online as a broke 17-year-old, let me know. Put any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. If you want more videos and you like this one and you want more videos on how to make money, how to do different things online, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys on the next video.